Okay, good morning. Today is May 21st, 2020. So you should be getting your May 18 to 22 packets. And we are turning to Thursday. Okay, here's Thursday. So let's go ahead and practice writing the date, making sure we're using a capital letter, M for May. Today is the 21st, followed by a comma, 2020. Or if you want to write it numerically, it's the fifth month, 21st day. So today with your phonics, you're going to complete a practice test. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take this where you can't see it. So you're going to fold it back along the dotted line just like this. And you may get somebody at home, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, grandma, mom, or dad to read your um, words to you. And if there's not anybody at home, then I'm going to read the words to you right now. I'm just going to be taking this away from the screen because I need to be able to read the words. And then... Um, if I go too fast, remember, just pause me, okay? Number one, repeat. Number two, away. Number three, ball. Number four, balloon. Number five, play. Number six, display. Number seven, raccoon. Number eight, enjoy. Number nine, explain. Number ten, Meadow. Number 11, saddle. Number 12, cattle. Number 13, area. Number 14, money. Number 15, peace. Okay. So then what you would do is you're going to come back. And you're going to unfold your paper now and you can check your own work. And then maybe highlight the ones that you need to study and that's where you would focus, okay? Give yourself a smiley face for your effort and turn to the next page. So now we're looking at possessives as we've been doing all week. And remember what I'm saying to you guys, we had an excellent Zoom session. This is a really hard skill, okay? So the main thing you need to ask yourself is, are we talking about one or more than one? And if we're talking only about one, for example, Ella's here, it's always going to be apostrophe S. But if we're talking about more than one, it's going to be S apostrophe. The apostrophe will go after the S, okay? So a possessive shows, a possessive shows to what or to whom something belongs. Um, add an apostrophe and an S to a singular noun to form a singular possessive and add an apostrophe to a plural noun that ends in S to form a plural possessive. So singular possessive, Ella's quilt. Ella is only one, so we put apostrophe S. The second one, the farm's strawberries are ripe. There's only one farm, so it would be apostrophe S. Now we go to plural possessives. The baby's blankets are new. The babies, so there's plural babies in this because it ends in an S. And then the picker's baskets are full because it ends in an S, plural, and we put an apostrophe at the end, okay? So um, something I'm going to do to help maybe today is I'm actually going to go through and write if it's plural or singular. And then you guys can um, use that information to help you with your answers. So remember, if it's plural, the apostrophe goes on the outside. All right, so it says rewrite each sentence, replacing the underlying words with a possessive phrase. The gates of the zoo are open. So the word zoo is singular. So because the word zoo is singular, then we put the apostrophe um, right after the O and then S. So we write the zoo's gates are open. There's only one zoo, okay? So now I'm going to write singular or plural on each one of these to help you. I want to see the habit, the habitat of the penguins. Penguins is plural. Number three, the paw of the polar bear is huge. Polar bear is singular. We're only talking about one. Number four, did you see the cubs of the lions? Lions is plural. Number five, the tail of the peacock is beautiful. Peacock is singular. 
When is the feeding time of the tigers? Tigers is plural. So remember, if it's plural, we use S and then an apostrophe. All right? Okay. Turning the page, we're continuing on with grammar. It says, look at the... Well, that option is not going to be there. But look at the picture on page 153 in your handbook. Then write the words to show ownership in each blank. Remember to use an apostrophe and add an S. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cross those off. All right, and you can just fill in a noun that would show ownership here. So the blank towel, we could say the boy's towel. And here I'm only talking about one boy, okay? If I wanted to talk about more than one boy, I could say the boy's towel. And either one of those would be correct, although the directions do say it wants you to use an apostrophe and an S. It doesn't give you what order to use them in. So you can use either a singular or a plural noun there. All right, so you'll do two through four alone. Um, in the second section, it says you can also show ownership by adding an apostrophe and an S to a name. Write the name below to show ownership. So this will be a little bit easier. Number one says, I see Marie's purple pencil. Capital letters because we're using proper nouns here. Marie's apostrophe S. Good job. Okay, so we're going to come over to another... Um, page on using bar graphs and so the top says math and pets mrs pratt asks the children in her class to tell which kitten they think is the cutest of these four kittens and then now this time you have the results last time we were able, we were allowed to fake the results so the results in the survey are shown in this table um and just like we do with our bar graphs, even though these are tally marks, I would write this out before you even go to your questions. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I, just like I'm doing right here, you should do for the rest. Then it says use the information in the table to make a bar graph. So you're going to fill in everything else. You have to fill in your title. All I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in here. And you know to do your rest of your names. I'm going to fill a zero in here and a 10 over here. Oops, you can't see that. There you go. I filled a zero here and then to a 10, so you fill in the rest. And if I'm going to six, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Okay? So you do the rest on that one. All right, turning the page for writing, you're going to do your editing and revising today. That means you're giving your paper to somebody at home to check. If you don't have anybody at home to check your paper, you can take a picture of your rough draft and send it to me on Class Dojo, and I will check and edit your paper and revise it and send it back to you, okay? Next year in third grade, we're going to be doing all this on the computer. Yay! Okay, so um, what I would suggest doing with this page is ABC order because we already did the practice test. So take all of your words and put them in alphabetical order. So like your first, I'll give you an example. The first word would be, so far, F. Yes, it's going to be F. So your first word would be face if you're going in the right order. And then let's see, what would your last word be? Uh, it's going to be one of these T's. Yeah, so your last word would be these. All right? So face to these, okay? Put all of these in alphabetical order. All right. And then your last page, you're going to continue working with graphs. At the top, it says use the bar graph to answer the questions below and fill in the circle next to the correct answer. So remember to analyze your bar graph first. Food on my shelves, apples, jars of salsa, cans of tuna, loaves of bread, and granola bars. Go ahead and mark what those numbers are before you even go down. I'm just going to mark the first one, five apples. You mark the rest. And I'll read the questions to you, but you're going to solve them, okay? Number one, how many more cans of tuna are there than jars of salsa? How many more? That's what's important there. Use your highlighters. How many more? means that we're subtracting. Number two, all together, how many apples and granola bars do you have? So you're going to add here. You're going to subtract here. Um, and number three, I eat some apples. Now there are only four apples left. How many apples did I leave? Usually when you have the word left, it means that we're going to subtract. Okay. And then number four, write a question about the graph and answer your own question. All right. Even if you wanted to add some information, you could say, if I had five pears, how many fruits do I now have on the shelf? 
but don't use that example. Come up with your own one, okay? All right, you guys. So make sure you're being kind to your brothers and sisters. It's very important. Make sure you do something to help around the house today. Make sure you get outside because that's good for your mental health. Make sure when you're doing your computer programs, you're doing it in this order. This is the order of importance here. Raz Kids being the most important. IXL and then Freckle. All right, boys and girls. Have a great day. We miss you. Bye.